In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for this FeBr3 plus H2SO4. This is iron 3 bromide plus sulfuric acid. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation. I've already balanced it. If you need help, there's a link in the description how to do that. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. So when we look at bromides, they're in general soluble, few exceptions. So this will be soluble, strong acid, sulfuric acid, strong acid. It'll dissociate into its ions. This iron three sulfate, sulfates in general, they're soluble, but I wanna check with this iron three. I know it's iron three because we know the sulfate is two minus, three times two minus, that's the six minus. This has to be three plus for it to balance out. But let's check that solubility for the iron three sulfate. So I go down, here's my iron three right here, Fe3 plus, and then here's the sulfate, SO4 two minus. So I go down and over, and they meet right here at this SS. SS means it's slightly soluble. A little bit of it'll dissolve, but not very much. Most of it's gonna be a solid. When we're writing net ionic equations, we consider SS to be a solid, to be insoluble. So we'll put our S up here, and then HBr is a strong acid that's gonna be aqueous. Once we have these states, we'll split our strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. So iron, we don't know the charge on iron here, but the bromide, that's always one minus. So this has to be three plus, since we have three of the bromides. Two of those iron three ions, I won't write the states now, let's do that later. We have our three bromide ions, but it's three times the two. So we have six bromide ions. Over here for the sulfuric acid, hydrogen, one plus the whole sulfate ion, two minus, good one to remember. So we have two times three, six hydrogen ions, and then three sulfate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we're gonna just keep that as Fe2SO4, three. And then we said hydrogen, positive, bromide ion, negative. Six hydrogen ions, just like the reactants, and six bromides, also like the reactants. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions that are on both sides. So we have our reactants and our products. In our reactants, I see six bromide ions here and in the products. Those are spectator ions. I'm gonna cross those out. We also have six of these hydrogen ions in the reactants and in the products, spectator ions. Cross those out. What's left? That's our net ionic equation for FeBr3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this iron three bromide and sulfuric acid. You'll note charge is conserved. We have two times three plus, that's six plus, three times two minus, six minus. That all adds up to zero, net charge of zero here. This is a neutral compound net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Note that when these two substances react, we get this iron three sulfate. Since we've written it as a solid, we will have a precipitate. This will fall to the bottom of the test tube. Although since it's slightly soluble, some will still be in solution. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.